So I have this old laptop that I rarely use, but now I can't access it because I forgot the password. So I'm going to show you guys two different methods to reset forgotten Windows password. Before we begin, one important message. This video is for educational purpose only. So please use this information responsibly. If you are in a hurry and you need to unlock your device right away, then I recommend you guys to use Eases Partition Master tool because it is easy to use. It can unlock device with just one click. There is no risk of losing data and it works almost all the time. On the other hand, command prompt method can be complicated and also doesn't work all the time. You might encounter some errors. So let's go with the easiest method first. For that, you'll need a USB drive that is at least two gigabytes in size or more and a another computer that you can access. And on that computer, you'll need to install this software. I'll put link in the description for the software. You can go there and download it. So I have this installed here and I've also plugged in my USB drive to this computer. Now I'm gonna go to toolkit and after that password reset and I'm going to click on create here I'm going to select the USB drive that we just plugged in so now I'm going to click on create now it's giving me a warning message saying that it will erase the USB drive so in your case if there is anything important on your USB drive backup and then proceed now it's going to create a bootable USB drive okay the process is complete and now I'm going to unplug my USB drive and plug it into the locked laptop now I'm going to turn off my laptop and I'm going to go to the BIOS setup by pressing the BIOS key. Once I'm in the BIOS, I need to change the boot order so this laptop can boot from this USB drive. So I'm going to go to boot sequence option, change the boot order and make the USB drive boot first. Now I'm going to turn off my computer and reboot it. And this time this is going to boot from that USB drive. And here on the desktop, we'll find this tool called password reset. So to reset my laptop's password, I'm going to open this and here I'm going to look for my username. So I'm going to select my username and I'm going to click on reset and unlock and it will give you a confirmation message. Click on confirm and your password has been changed successfully and I'm going to shut down my computer and I will unplug the USB drive and turn on my laptop. Now it's going to boot our windows normally and this time you can see I don't have to enter the password and it's that simple no data loss no error and easy to use and this method works with Windows 11 10 7 8 even Vista and XP so if you have an old machine laying around and you have forgotten the password you can use this program to reset the password now let me show you guys the command prompt method again it can be a little bit complicated and it might not work all the time but if you're willing to try this out you can try it at your own on risk. So let me show you guys how to do it. For that, you need to access the Windows recovery environment. Hold shift and click on restart. Now, once we are in the Windows recovery environment, we have to go into troubleshoot and then advanced options and then command prompt. Now in here, we have to go to the drive where the Windows is installed. Usually it's the C drive, but sometimes when you're in Windows recovery environment, the drive letter can change. So in my case, it's the D drive. So I'm going to type D and colon and hit enter. Now I'm going to go to Windows directory by typing the CD Windows and hit enter. Now I'm going to type CD system 32. And after that, we have to type the following command ren utilmen exe utilmen1 exe. This will basically rename the utilmen. So I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to type this command and hit enter after that i'm going to close the command prompt and i'm going to click on continue by doing this we actually replaced the accessibility with command prompt so i'm going to click on accessibility and it should open the command prompt just like that now i'm going to type following command and hit enter this window will pop up here select my username click on reset password simply enter the new password click on ok close the command prompt and now I can enter the new password and log in. Now we have to get back the accessibility option. So for that, we're going to go to the Windows recovery environment one more time and then go to the advanced option, command prompt and do the same as we did earlier. Run the following command and then run this last command. Close 
the command prompt and click on continue and now the accessibility option should work so yeah that's it for this one hope you found this video useful if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe